So this, um, this t-shirt is the CVC from Next Level, the 6210, one of their top sellers. We, we, we put this out here, um, tons of team colors to choose from. So okay. I would imagine the student athlete likes to stay true to, you know, their, where it all started, right? Their home colors. So Yeah, absolutely. And, and so we took this t-shirt and we wanted to come up with like another concept again rather than just name and number. And so one opportunity that you have out there is nice. to not only take the athlete's name, but take their likeness in the form of photography and a photo. And so in this particular case, we conducted a photo shoot of a student athlete and brought those photos to life just in a little different way with a little more graphic element and style. Nice. And so this particular player, not only are we incorporating his name, but we're incorporating the full photo and a player signature. Oh, so let's head cool. over to the heat press and you'll be able to see all of these up close and see how to apply them to this shirt. Nice. So we're working on our Hotronics Fusion heat press and all of the graphics that we're gonna be working with today are direct-to-film transfers. And one like of the it. reasons I love direct-to-film transfers is because there's just so much versatility with what you can do. So you'll see photo quality, single color stuff, many colors, uh, you'll see fine detail, uh, player signature, so many opportunities. Let's preheat first, and that well, good? Yeah, so right, right when you brought out the graphic, you know that direct film, you can see the individual right in front of you. So it is photo quality, you know. Yeah, absolutely, yep. assist me there. So we position this down, right? We're going to go with a traditional front placement. If we're setting up a brand uh, for this athlete, we definitely want some staples in that product lineup. This shirt with all of those uh, colors and team colors serve that opportunity well. And we wanted a, kind of a staple front design to represent his brand. And so with direct-to-film transfers, they all have a little different application instruction. Here at Stalls, we manufacture our own line called Ultra Color Max. So yeah. a decorator doesn't need to own the printer. They can simply upload the artwork uh, that they wanna have completed in a transfer. They can have that uh, come into them and then ultimately just position and press it, which is what we're doing here today. It's so easy. I mean, with unlimited color too, right? Yeah, unlimited yeah. color. And look at this, hot wow. peel, oh. right? And so being able to release that right that's, away to keep up so the cool. speed. And, you know, I think when you're setting up a brand or a line for an athlete, just going that little extra in the details. And so for that, we're going to take this player signature that we have here. And yes, I can do a sleeve print with that. But sure. I think one of the more interesting opportunities, let's just slide this up. Keep it really simple to apply. I'm gonna go down to this uh, bottom hem area and I'm going to position this signature here, just like it's wow. a logo on a popular uh, sports brand or something that you would see. Absolutely, or clothing it's a line. great popular location. Yeah, and this yeah. is gonna get hit twice, not a big deal. I'm just gonna make sure that the cover sheet is covering it so it's not exposed uh, directly to the heating element. So I don't have a so messy it, situation. Right? That was going to be my question. I was like, whoa, we're hitting it twice. Yeah. So no problem with direct-to-film. No. If you hit it twice, no problem with direct-to-film. As long as you're not going crazy on the temperature, okay. um, I'm still at the 290 degrees that it applies at. So absolutely no issue with heating and reheating it. Nice. And again, hot peel. Got that smooth release. Easy as that. And then we have a really nice... Uh, completed finish. So full front this design. Is great. Little... And I love the I love the subtlety of like the signature and notorious that's his first name. 